Hi, welcome to my another video, today I will help you, choose the 5 best air quality monitors on the market. I have made, it based on my own researches. And I am try to list, those based on price, quality and more. Subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon, for latest top rated product updates. Number 5, Huma iHi 150. With its sleek pill shape, the Huma iHi 150 is one of the most portable air quality monitors you can buy. It measures four common pollutants, plus temperature and humidity, and displays Arky. An OLED display toggles between graph or icon view depending on the user's preference, and a green-yellow-red indicator light gives quick information on current air quality. Huma i recommends the Hi 150 for indoor or outdoor use. It detects CO2, PM2.5 and PM10, and TVOC for a balanced air pollution measurement. The display powers down after 10 minutes to save battery, but it's unclear how long the battery lasts between charges. Humai doesn't go out of its way to explain the little monitor, so there's not much more I can tell you. Reviews are decisively positive, with bad experiences describing seemingly isolated inaccuracy or malfunction. Huma I makes this air quality monitor for home or on the road in three iterations, the Hi 120 and Hi 100 are both less expensive and less capable. MSRP for the Hi 150 is $150. You might also like these efficient odor eliminators for your home, so check them out. Number 4, Temtop M10 Air Quality Monitor. Temtop's M10 is an air quality monitor with a large, clear display for easy reading of four pollutants. It adds an Aki measurement. The discrete unit is ready for any end table, desk, nightstand, or even vehicle. The Temtop M10 is intentionally rudimentary in form and function. It reads PM2.5 and PM10, HCHO and TVOC, and delivers Aki. It displays levels for each pollutant one at a time on its pronounced screen. Simply push the top button to toggle between readings. The screen shows battery life and a green-yellow-red light to indicate Aki. The M10's battery is USB rechargeable and lasts 4 to 6 hours. To calibrate the unit to read HCHO, users must place it outside for 6 hours. One user found the requirement notably impractical under wildfire conditions. The Temtop M10 goes for an MSRP of $180, slash to $90, as of this writing. An app-connected variant, the M10i, stores air quality history and more at MSRP $176. Number 3, Breathe Air Quality Monitor. The Miniscule Breathe Personal Air Quality Monitor measures real-time Aki and PM2.5 for on-the-go monitoring. Breathe designs the little unit to be easy to read, straightforward, and portable. Yes, the tiny unit measures only PM2.5 and generates Aki. This means it's a rough estimate instrument, in no way designed for data analysis like some of the intensive, app-connected devices in this guide. Instead, Breathe says the monitor needs virtually no calibration time, and that you can carry it around on your wrist for a snapshot of the air quality right where you stand. It has a touchscreen and its battery reportedly lasts several hours. I'm skeptical of the device's credulity. The marketing material makes unsubstantiated claims like studies have shown that you can reduce your pollutant exposure by as much as 50% simply by taking alternative routes, and it's hard to believe it's accurate anywhere, anytime, when devices with similar laser sensors advise users to leave the device in the same room, in the same place, for accurate results. Number 2, AirThings Wave Plus Air Quality Monitor. The AirThings Wave Plus delivers real-time and historical app-based IAC data. The smart home device reads six IAC metrics including radon levels. 
For a quick analysis, users can simply pass their hand in front of the smoke detector like puck to activate the glow ring, which gives an instant green-yellow-red IAC reading. I tested the Wave Plus and found it delivered on its basic functions. However, the glow ring function proved useless to me, and the device took a long time to calibrate. The AirThings Wave Plus measures indoor air for RN, TVOC, CO2, humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure. Radon, RM, is, decisively, the centerpiece of the suite. Radon is the gas released by the natural decay of uranium, so, it's radioactive. Furthermore, every home is generally considered to have some concentration of it, because it's in soil, water, and natural gas. At high levels, it's dangerous. Number 1. Four Uncles Air Quality Monitor. Curiously titled Four Uncles delivers a cost-effective, laser-operated indoor air quality monitor for MSRP $69. The monitor measures levels of seven different pollutants. A low-noise fan draws air into the unit, where a laser reads it for transparency and refraction. Then, five different sensors decode the information. Finally, an LCD screen displays real-time values for five common indoor air pollutants. Using Four Uncles is as simple as that, wait, what? Using the Four Uncles indoor air quality monitor is as simple as that. It's compact, at about 5.5 long, and powered by a USB rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Reviews indicate around 8 hours of battery life. Four Uncles recommends the device for use in any common indoor space, as well as in the backyard, hotel room, or even the cloak room. It reads the usual suite of PM 1.0, PM 2.5, PM 10, HCHO, and TVOC, and adds humidity and temperature readings. It gives no carbon or radon measurement. Four uncles suggest sealing the space for 24 hours before testing. Users must calibrate the device by pushing a button 5 to 10 minutes after powering it on.